Frequently DMs and storytellers alike struggle to have a really hated opposing character, an NPC, that uh, the party will truly, truly hate and despise from the bottom of their heart and soul. So people come up with all kinds of edgy stuff uh, where people eat babies for breakfast, but you know what will make your party hate an NPC so horrifyingly bad? They'll hate him or her so much, they'll want to just... They, they'll want the NPC to exist in the room with them just to jump collectively the NPC and punch them out on the spot. That's how much they'll hate him. They'll want to squeeze the life out of them right now. And there's an easy way. There's an easy way that uh, you probably didn't think of. Whatever are you thinking, whatever horrifying crimes the NPC has committed, none of that will get them as riled up as the following. Just get the NPC, and it can be an NPC that did nothing wrong previously, that has no crimes, that has clean conscience, that did nothing evil or bad or whatever their entire life. But when they meet the party, they set them up with something. They lie in front of them. They set them up and say, yes, uh, Mr. Guardsman, I've seen them do it. I've seen them do it. They are the ones who stole that poor baker's bread. Do that. They should be convincing yet smug. In unbelievably smug yet have such a great story that is easily believable. Especially since they have some leverage and the party doesn't. The party is usually strangers and, you know, they're not from the place. Nobody can vouch for them. Nobody can say, obviously, this is not true. Yet, uh, this person might be a local and the person might know local averages, so uh, the person will know how to have an alibi for him or herself, but will not spare such mercies for the party who hasn't got a clue. And yes, it's not something that party did. This is completely something that the NPC did and party saw the NPC do, or potentially better yet, the NPC might have not done it even, but the party believes so, hasn't seen him or her, hasn't witnessed it, and yet the party knows about it, and now they're taking the full blame, they're taking the full fall, they're taking the full brunt of the rumor. It doesn't even have to be a crime that they're gonna get captured for. In fact, perhaps it's best if it's just something nasty that will just go into their reputation like uh, injected poison, and then they need to take it, and then they need to live with it. And don't even don't even mock them all the time with it, just half of the time, because then it hurts doubly so. Because when people who like them, people who talk to them normally, still do so, but they have moments of hesitation, then they have moments of sorrow for them, then they have moments of trying to help. When that happens, and then everybody else treats them like dirt, and then they return to another person that they didn't expect to treat them kindly, but still, then moments later suspects him for just a little tiny bit and still tries to stay civil, polite, and wonderful to them just in case, and their fate shakes, how will the party take it? And then if this NPC is somehow protected from party's wrath to keep doing this two or three times, especially over a long arc of campaign where people, where your players forget about him, and then he does it again, you know, half a year later, and again, another year later. Well, maybe not that long a time, but you know, again, a week later, again, a month later. Your players will want to skin him alive. In fact, they'll think that's too kind. So this is how you get your party to hate somebody <laughs> very deep. And yet, if you want this to be not be all end all to your NPC, then just attach this as a mod to your villain of choice. And voila, now you have a villain that they absolutely hate, despise, unbelievably. So whilst the villain can be as little bit villainous or a lot villainous as you want, without villain needing to do all kinds of other edgy things to keep up. And this is just one of the tricks. I'm sure I'll make a few more episodes about other tricks to make NPC hated, but this one comes obviously to mind. So adventure, if you thought this was useful or unique, maybe you can spare me a click and I could see you here next or even every week, because every week I have more such things for you. I make them myself. 
I'm M, and welcome to DM Table. See you next time.